Yeah. Hi, Liz. You had a, a phenomenal podium result last year in, uh, in Ironman World Championship in Hawaii. Uh, can you talk us through your uh, nutrition strategy for, uh, for Ironman racing? Yeah, okay. Um, my nutrition strategy is the same, very much the same for all my Ironmans. There's a few variations if I race in the heat, um, slightly more sodium and obviously more fluid. Um, but yeah, basically I'm on the upper end of carbohydrate intake. I take upwards of 90 grams per hour, which is a lot, but I've trained my gut to get there and I didn't do that in my first Ironman. Um, I actually aimed for a lot less on advice from somebody and um, ended up bonking towards the end of the bike and struggled for the first half of the run and then realized I needed more carbohydrates than that and upped it for the next race and then upped it again until I found my sort of happy level. Um, so yeah, I'm, I use just gels, no bars for me. I just um, find them easier to get down when I'm, I don't know, chasing or breathing hard or yeah, just focused on racing. So um, electrolyte drink and um, yeah, the gels, that's how I get my, my carbs, yeah. And how do, you, uh, how do you prepare your gels for an Ironman race? Do you take them in a bottle? Do you take the individual gels? How do you, uh, how do you uh, use that in a race uh, situation? Yeah, I do. I use the little fuel belt um, gel flasks and I know how many gels they take and have one for the first two hours and one for the second two hours and um, that's even got my caffeine incorporated within it. So I know in the second two hour one, that's when I take my caffeine um, gels because um, I don't want to be taking those too early on the bike. Um, so yeah, that's how I carry mine. Um, easier than having to deal with the wrappers, and which is another issue. I've had uh, littering penalties in the past, so um, this avoids that issue. <laughs> and Ben, as a uh, sports director of the BMC Ethics team, uh, what, what is your advice towards the, um, let's say, optimizing your carbs in race situations for age, age group athletes? Because going up to 90 grams per hour is, is a high amount. Uh, what is your advice for age groupers in, uh, to optimize their, their nutritional plan, particularly around uh, carb intake? Yeah. yeah, to go up to 90 grams of carbs uh, an hour in an Ironman race, that's definitely something you need to train and practice. It's like Liz mentioned, uh, she also trained her gut uh, to allow her to take up 90 grams. So I definitely recommend to, for each age group athletes to, to practice their race, strateg uh, their race nutrition strategy also train it with the sports nutrition uh, products that you plan to race uh, to use on race day. Liz, you also mentioned uh, caffeine intake. How, how do you go about that in, a, in an Ironman race? Yeah, I um, basically abstain from caffeine until halfway on the bike and at that point I take a large dose, um, or large dose relative to me. Um, I'm not a coffee drinker normally, so um, for me about 150 to 200 grams of caffeine at around three hours on the bike is um, yeah two and a half to three hours on the bike at that point is kind of right where I'm sort of starting to hurt um, gives me that boost and um, yeah just the half-life and all the sort of um, chemical side of um, caffeine it's the right time in the race to take it for me and I think actually for a lot of people yeah because it's best to save it more as a, an extra towards the end of the bike in the marathon not to use it in a full Ironman straight from the beginning because it's always, in the end it's a, it gives you a certain boost and it's a bit tricky to start straight from the start of the race already with caffeine because there's always a risk to overdo. And you feel very well, you try to push it and of course you're gonna burn more energy too early in the race. So I would definitely recommend to use the caffeine towards the end of the bike. If you're not pumped up before an Ironman, you probably shouldn't be there anyway. <laughs> And then finally, on the on the um, the, the intake of uh, fluids, uh, what is the plan there? Uh, what is the amount you take per hour? Um, how do you how do you drink and, and what do you drink? Um, so I have the Etix Isotonic drink mixed up um, with additional sodium, um, and I have one bottle which I consume in the first two hours and one in the second two hours. But aside from that, I just drink water to thirst, and that's how I um. I guess adapt to the conditions. So um, I've raced in Montreux Blanc, which is not particularly hot, um, and yeah, basically just taken just the one bottle in two hours, and then um, raced in Kona, and I'm probably taking an initial two to three bottles of water. Um, so yeah, for me, I just go off first, and um, that that's a pretty effective way to do it actually. And then you have a, a guideline for age groupers that they can follow regarding their liquid uptake during an Ironman race. It's a bit like Liz mentions, it, uh, depending on the conditions of course, uh, Kona is a very extreme race, uh, roughly you can mention like try to drink at least one litre of fluid each hour, 